Hi, this is Elizabeth Gearhart. I'm here with Margie Samuels, who does wonderful watercolors, but better yet, she teaches you how to do it online with things you already have around your house. And it's just a lot of fun. And she's really perfected her technique. So welcome, Margie. I'm so happy to be here. So tell us all about your business and what you're doing now during quarantine, how you're doing these online watercolor painting classes. Right. I've, uh, I'm an artist and an instructor, and I segued over to online classes since we're all inside. It um, gives somebody a little respite, something to do, something to, um, and, and, and it's now become part of people's routine, which I love. Um, the classes are 90 minutes. They're meant for beginners or more experienced painters, and they're topical, they're focused. So I might teach trees or flowers or how to paint skies, or um, I just did one on um, uh, discovering your palette, which is all about the colors you have and how to mix them and, and, and the best way to use them. Um, and I found when I teach topically, it is um, much easier for people to grasp onto it. So are these live workshops? Yes, and they are live workshops. How often are you doing those? Mm, about once a week, roughly. Okay, and so how, does, what, how do people get prepared? Do you, they sign up and you send them an email? They sign up through my website. My website has the whole workshop schedule. And once they sign up, they'll get a hello informational uh, letter from me. Here's the kind of things you might need. Sometimes I have them prep um, some things. Sometimes I'll say you're going to need uh, this kind of paper or you know, three glasses of water or, or whatever. Um, and then the day before or so, they'll get a second um, email with a little more information and the Zoom link. I also email all the handouts you're going to need. So whether it's an informational handout like, um, like I'm sending out this week, I'm teaching flowers um, or photos. Um, uh, so that's what, that's what I do. And then can they ask you questions in the chat during this or? Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay, so it's a little different than when you were teaching in person. You said you had to really rework things, but you've made it work really well, right? It's, it's really worked well. Um, it was a learning for everybody, but it, it's really worked well. And part of it was my learning the technology um, knowing that if I want them to see something, how I wanted them to see it. Do I need to send it so it's right in front of them? Do I need to put it on a second camera? Do I need to hold it up? Um, and so I sort of made a little uh, studio within my studio. And once I did that, I'm all set up. And, and that has really helped. Um, I, I told somebody it's a little like uh, conducting an orchestra while you're teaching because you're also monitoring the class, you know, and, and when I mute everybody and when I don't and how I answer the questions and is it a question I have to answer now and when do I give them a break and, and how I do that. So one hand does that, one hand does the painting and my third hand covers everything else. So when do you offer these? Are they on the weekends, during the week, in the evening? Uh, I've not done evening classes yet, um, but they have been uh, during the week and on weekends. I do have some Sunday workshops. And these are mostly for adults, but you're starting something for families pretty soon, right? I am. The end of September, I'm starting a three-part series um, called Paint Like the Pros. And each week we are going to learn about a different artist. Um, and that will include discussion and PowerPoint with, with pictures. And then we will be doing an art project in that artist's style. 
So it's not a copy of their work. It's looking at their style, what made them important. And now we're doing something with those, um, those techniques. So um, that will be uh, Matisse, Picasso, and Chagall coming up. Wonderful. Do you want to show us your artwork? I would be delighted. Um, this is based on a uh, photo I took in South Mountain Reservation. I love to do loose and fun and colorful landscapes. And, and I have a whole bunch of these different ways. This one is based on a photo one of my students took in Scotland. And obviously the colors weren't quite this, but it's wonderful to imagine what they could be. You know, I, I always tell my students, you don't need to replicate exactly what's there. You're adding a piece of yourself to it. If you want exactly what's there, take a photo. Um, uh, this is just local woods. Um, more local woods. And this is, uh, I, I love to paint big flowers also. This is one of the ones that was made into a scarf by um, a company out in California. These gorgeous silk scarves from, uh, that are two different flower paintings. Um, this is uh, grapes in a vineyard. Um, and sometimes I just take uh, nature and just have some fun with it. And these are those Queen Anne's lace and a whole lot of texture. And, um, and that's what this series was about. This, if you've ever been out to Zion National Park, You'll recognize the colors that are out there. This is from a photo I took. It wasn't even in Zion. We were outside of Zion and it was just the, the look and the feel of, of the landscape out there. The sky is a different color and the ground is a different color and it's really quite incredible. Um, I also do abstracts. Um, and this one is in acrylic. And this is one of my abstracts called On the Water. Uh, this is a coffee painting. And it is not common to paint with coffee in America. It is common in Africa and in Asia. I heard about this and I started researching it and I've had a lot of fun with it. And I've actually been teaching some coffee painting as well. You paint with different dilutions and it's amazing what you can paint. Um, I just started doing some children's art and it started from, I have two granddaughters and one of them asked me recently if she could have a painting for a room and I said, sure. And I said, well, what did you want? And she said, a fairy tree. I said, fairy tree, what is a fairy tree? And I got the eyes rolling and she said, Mimi, the, the kids call me Mimi. Um, that is where the fairies live. I said, of course, that's where the fairies live. So I made her a fairy tree. And I have giclés of this. People have seen this and purchased it. So I actually also sell giclés, which is a a specialized um, print of work. It's from the French word for nozzle. And it's where computer and nozzles um, and printing come together. And, and it makes these exact duplicates of the artwork on the same paper that I worked on, which is pretty amazing. There's another one. This is Princess Picklepuss who keeps you safe while you're sleeping. Um, and that was for my other granddaughter who was afraid of her room. Um, so I think that's where I ended this. So, Wow, so you're really versatile. So it seemed like the first set of paintings were kind of Monet style. Is that how you would describe that? Um, I think I am somewhat impressionistic. Mm -hmm. I tend to like a lot of color. 
Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm in texture. So uh, you could see my brushwork. Um, so maybe in that sense, um, yes. You know, I, I, I like lo a looser interpretation mm -hmm. rather than a tight interpretation. Yeah, so that was really fun. I, I love seeing the variety of your artwork. But as you mentioned briefly there, you've been selling your art in a number of different genres, like on scarves, on tiles, on wine bags. Can you show a couple of ones? And I love those grapes be behind a stove for the backsplash. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's uh, all right. So there's a lovely company in California that has now taken my artwork and put it on scarves. So it is two different ones and it's two different kinds of silk. I, I wish you could feel how yummy this is. Um, and they're all, they're all uh, hand sewn. The edges are hand sewn. It was really just beautiful. So these are the scarves. Um, there's also a company in Vermont that made wine bags. And this is a painting of mine of wine that they put on the bag. And also, I'm gonna reach back slightly. Okay, they did a second one. Um, and it was a painting of, um, that I did in France. My daughter is a French teacher. And when she lived in France, I did a painting once of, the, of people in the street there. And now that's on a wine bag. Um, uh, yes, you can buy tile on my work. It's Artist Designer Tile is the name of the company. It is on Etsy. And you can buy it as a single tile or trivet. It comes, I think, with wood frame or not wood frame. Um, but you can also buy it as a larger piece. So if you liked a painting and you wanted it for your backsplash or your bathroom or whatever, you could say, I need this in four inch tile, three by four or whatever, and he can send you that. So where would somebody buy the scarves? Um, right now, the scarves are through me. Okay. Um, and they have wine bags as well? Uh, the wine bags as well. Okay. So mm -hmm. would they go to your website? And it will be on my website soon. If they want it before it appears, just email me. Just so uh, you fill out the contact us form. Yes. On your website. And what is your website? Margie Samuels Watercolor. Okay. And... Uh, Wow, you're doing so much. So you actually have a studio where you teach normally, right? I do, I do. Any ideas when that will be able to open, no? I have no idea. Where's your studio located? In West Caldwell. West Caldwell, but, but using this online technique has been pretty effective. How many people do you have signing up for these classes typically? Um, somewhere between 12 to 18. Well, that's roughly. I don't like to make it too big. Right. Um, I don't like it where it's more than one screen's worth um, so that I can see everybody they're working. And if someone has a question, I'm not, you know, shuffling through pages to try and find a person. Um, so that's kind of where I like to keep them. Do you give individual lessons if somebody? I do. I do give individual lessons, private lessons. And would you do that for like a 10 year old? If some, like say somebody has their kid home from school and they're bored? Is um, I don't do children. I do have a wonderful friend who does. And I, I often refer to her. She's wonderful with kids. Um, I will take teenagers, especially teens who are interested in art and want to build up their portfolio. I've done that several times. Mostly it's, it's adults, either people who want to paint, you know, because their kids are busy or in school or they're retired um, or they've always painted and or they've never painted, um, but always wanted to paint. So that's kind of who's in my class. Okay. And then... If people go to your website, 
can they buy your original artwork there? They can see a whole bunch of it. Um, you also have to write to me. I don't put prices up, okay. um, but I will, I will be happy to discuss all that and mailing and, and all that. Yes. What about framing? Do they frame it themselves or do you frame it for them? It depends on what they want. Some people are afraid to frame. Mm -hmm. um, I work with a local framer who is fabulous and I'm very happy to work with him. Um, if I have to ship the piece, I would prefer to ship it in a mailing tube. So obviously that isn't framed. Um, but if you're buying a piece I've, and you're local, I'd love you to at least have it matted. Um, it protects the piece, it looks better. Um, that way I can sort of, you know, I can control the color and size of the mat a little bit. Um, so it depends on where it's going. And if people want me to frame it, I will frame it. That's no problem. Great, so just to reiterate a little bit, so what are some of your upcoming workshops? Okay, um, I've got uh, teaching flowers this week. I've got painting with coffee coming up in October. I have uh, one on painting a fall still life. So we're gonna be doing pumpkins and different kinds of things and how to do a still life. I've got the family series coming up. Um, uh, and I, Let's see. Oh, big one. I can't believe I almost forgot it. Um, those are all online. I am doing one in person, and that is at the Landgrove Inn in Vermont, an amazing place. I have been there now. This will be my 12th year uh, teaching there. Um, they've made a lot of changes. They are limiting the size of the group. I feel comfortable going. I am teaching watercolor with yoga. And no, I am not the yoga teacher. Everybody has asked that. Um, but I teach it with an amazing yoga instructor. And they are integrated so that we will be um, uh, doing different projects, uh, both from the art point of view and the yoga point of view. And sometimes it's meditation, sometimes it's a relaxation. And then uh, sometimes it expands your creativity. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, what uh, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's the end of October, four days, four day workshop. So people can contact you through your website to find out about that. Exactly, them. there's a lot of information and registration. And how and many people are you limiting it to? It's 12 hard stop. Okay, so there, there's only a handful of seats left. So if you're interested, jump on that one. Um, well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Boy, I bet you get some really good paintings out of that. Oh my God, we've done all kinds of stuff. And this year we're calling the workshop, the theme is Shake It Up, a journey of growth through watercolor and yoga. So you don't want to keep doing the same old thing you're always doing, painting the same old thing. Um, so we're talking about um, giving yourself the permission, the courage, the confidence to shake it up. And each day we're going to be doing different kinds of artistic warm up things. And then there will be a painting coming out of each day. Um, so I'm hoping they're going home with a stack of work. And you do that every year. You every year. So let's say that everything is back to pretty much normal in 2021 yes. and you do it October, 2021, how many people would you have in the class then? Um, if things are normal, I usually teach in July. Um, and that would be, uh, I'm usually about the third or fourth week in July. Mm -hmm. um, God, I've had some bigger classes, but just like online i don't like my class to be too big up there but I, it could go up to the the inn holds at the inn has 19 rooms okay um so uh so i i i filled the inn a couple times but that's a big class i prefer not to quite do that 
Wow. And I hate to say the food up there is like unbelievable. <laughs> and it's the kind of thing, and it's the kitchen is, is like this big. It's amazing. It's the kind of thing you're sitting at lunch discussing what you're going to have for dinner, <laughs> you know, and it's all homemade desserts. It's, it's crazy. But um, it's a beautiful place to paint and a delicious place to be. And, That's um, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. It's in Southern Vermont, so it's about 10 minutes outside of Manchester. Okay, and I guess people need to contact you for the cost. Yes. Okay. Yes. And I'm running an early bird on it now. So if you sign up before October 1st, there's a discount. Okay, okay, cool. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, so is there anything else that we need to say about your business or anything you're doing? I don't think so. I think we covered just about everything. Great. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I love your stuff. I love your artwork. I love your tiles, your scarves, the wine, Thanks. everything. You're going to have to get you with a paintbrush in your hand, Elizabeth. I would love that, although I'm <laughs> very crafty, but it's still my mother and my grandmother both could paint. Just they did it for their own pleasure. Of course. My, my grandma especially. And she did kind of the things that you did at the very beginning. She she did kind of, but it was more like farm scenes because she grew up on a right. farm, like a building on a, a farm building on a lake. Kind of, but anyway, um, yeah, it sounds Can like a lot. Of some of her work in your house is it framed in your house? She only did a few pieces, and I didn't get any. I have one piece of my mother's that she did. So okay, that's nice to have. It is. It's a, it's great as a memory. So of course, you know, and and especially if you do it for your children. So. Uh, yeah, I think this would be a really fun retreat. So it sounds like a, a nice time. It's a, it's a good time. Yeah. It's a good time, for good. sure. Well, thanks, Margie. So Margie Samuels. Yeah, yeah. so it's Margie Samuels watercolors.com. Margie Samuels watercolor.com. Watercolor.com. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Thank you.